Greetings to you all, and welcome back to Let's Play Dungeons and Dragons Warriors of the Eternal Sun. This time, I have nothing but confidence. That's an acceptable start, we'll take that. I probably shouldn't be using Lightning Bolt. It's going to get me killed. But that would be hilarious, so look forward to that. Right, time to test the old memory. Also, if you wonder why you're hearing the noises of arrows and slings, it's because there are hellhounds down here, which were being evaded until the last two. Maybe it's just gonna sit there. I mean, it suits me. So in this situation, you want me to believe that they are evading, just not advancing. Alright, fine. It was in here, yes? The way out? Evidently memory is not my strong suit. Is it sh oh, it's here, past this guy. Yes. Okay, good stuff. Nice and quick. Okay, not 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 ideal that we can't sleep, but we're not too badly injured, so we'll press on. I'm gonna prep that. Can't for the life of me remember what's on the next floor. So we'll go in well armed. Start with a bless on the party. And let's investigate. Use my diagonal vision. Okay, let's not go that way. Suspicious. You've got to wonder who built these caverns, caves, whatever we're calling this thing. Back, 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 please back. Enough turns, my turn. Ooh, okay. I don't like that place. Let's not go in there again. Pocky might have a damn high amount of HP, but it doesn't save her. She doesn't have the armor class to actually evade anything, so... She's still fragile at the end of the day. I've used up my wand of healing, staff of healing. Stick of healing, I don't know what it's called. We knew this time was going to come. Just check the map. There was nothing in that room, right? I don't think so. How about we just don't go into doors unless we absolutely have to? Damn it, game. Give me a nice open corridor. Don't like spiders. Leave them be. What is everything here full of arachne? That's more like it. Rats we can handle. Looks like it's just going to be a series of rooms. One of them's probably going to be the way out, and the rest are just going to be filled with enemies. That's the impression I get. So filled with enemies, I can't even enter the rooms. Okay, here's the plan. We're gonna step this way, turn, fire the lightning, and then retreat back to where we're currently standing. The lightning will go through both trolls, unless that's one troll, I can't really tell. It will hit him, bounce off the door that you can see in the top right of the viewing window, and then it will come back towards me and hit the troll again. Behold. Lovely. This is what I mean about lightning bouncing off of walls. It's very powerful because you can hit the same enemy multiple times with it. 
But if I just stood in front of an enemy and cast it, it bounced off the wall, come back and hit me. And I'm not going to survive getting hit by a 20 damage lightning bolt to my whole team very well. Makes it easy to get experience on Pocky though. Again, the number of enemies in this game that just want to sit still is boggling to the mind. This feels like the exit though, because that was a lot of trolls. And other areas were just filled with spiders and scorpions and things. Trolls are a bit higher of a class of enemy. I feel like this could be the way down. Oh, hello. Why don't we demonstrate turn undead? We've not done that yet. You, undead, be turned. That was satisfying. So turn undead is a ridiculously strong spell against the undead. It will one-shot any undead. It also has infinite stock. The spells that are on the left, so that it's not officially a tier spell, you could call it tier zero if you want, hides are the same. Those are spells with infinite stock. Okay, third floor. Progress. Probably should have slept. But progress. Whites are probably undead, right? I mean, they look kind of undead. That or their party animals, one of the two. I mean, look at their hair, they're clearly not getting enough sleep. I don't know if that thing's alive or not, let's just stab it. Yes, I'm stabbing a shadow. Every enemy in this place is just fixed. It's waiting. Ominously. I'm trying to remember who's on the left and who's on the right. I've split player spots two and three. I think left is slot two. In which case, if I step forwards here, I am exposing Kane to the whites, which is preferable to exposing Pocky. Well worked out. Good job, me. You may have noticed that Kane took one point of damage, but it, he still has max HP. That's right, permanent health loss. What do we still have in the way of... Oh, we should re-bless. That's what we should do. We got some of this. We got some darkness we could use. Okay, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. We're alive. That's all we can ask for. I'll be honest. I thought I forgot there was so much undead in this cave. Turn undead is really doing work here. You may have been looking at my team and thinking, "Ah, the cleric's not that great, right? Because you can always just rest." No, no, no. Cleric's amazing. Firstly, bless is amazing. But secondly, turn undead when it has viable targets. That's a ridiculous spell, and I didn't think there was another floor. Shows what I know. Casually killed eight enemies with one spell. That's how the cleric does it. Am I on the previous floor? Where am I? Did I just double back to the floor I was on? These trolls are familiar. I did. This is where I lightning to all the trolls. Maybe I was right. Maybe this is the final floor. And somehow I got confused. Is this a, just a big circle? It probably is just a big circle. That's probably what happened. 
I probably completed an entire circuit. I didn't realise. Please don't do that. If you hit me, it's very bad for me. The rates haven't respawned. That's bizarre. I was under the impression that all enemies respawned. God, do I even know anything about this game? Okay, so this is what happened last time. I did a full circuit, and then I, I went back in the way I came. So I suppose I'm looking for a hidden passageway, am I? Alright. This will be a good time. Although, enemies should be low enough for me to rest. Yes, here we go. I've just noticed Pocky's max HP. She got hammered by whites, didn't she? She lost 17 max HP. Alright, carry on. She didn't lose max HP. She lost levels. I've lost my third tier of spells. Okay. Great. God damn, I hate whites. Don't clip that out of context. What happened to Elodie as well? She's got 17 HP. Everyone's sort of been reduced to children. Level 1. My leader's been reduced to level 1. She was a child as it, as we began the adventure. She's now, I don't know, a toddler or something. I didn't even notice when this was going on. Pocky's back down to level 4. Kane's alright. I think he lost one level. Mina's just a powerhouse. Untouchable by anyone. But... That's a real hit. To Pocky. I mean, Elodie's basically useless. But Pocky! Alright, let's ram our face into some walls. Success! So let's talk about how good or bad it is to lose experience like that. What the hell is this place? So you may be thinking, oh no, Elodie's down to level 1, does that mean she can't deal any damage now? She must be really weak, right? No, not really. The damage dealt by attacks, both melee and ranged, are not contingent on level in any way, shape, or form. So, Elodie is only suffering in the sense she doesn't have much HP anymore. Nothing else. Level doesn't affect your armor, it doesn't affect your damage. The only thing level affects is the fact that you gain HP on level up, and the damage of the magic user spells. So, a little bit of a shame. Oh, it would also affect the damage of the cleric spells if you use cause light wounds instead of cure. But that's not my style. Where am I going? I'm just looping around. I've tried the most obvious spot, which is middle and then left. I see a passageway sort of three tiles down on one to the right of me that should be mirrored on the top side, so let's go try that. That would be this room over here. No, this room over here. It is mirrored, but there's nothing in it. Ok, 
I'm seriously down to just testing every wall. I can't... I can't see a noticeable pattern here. Aha! Because there was none. Great. I met an old tech merchant. Wait, wait, wait. I have completed the Duke's quest. Do you see this? Are you seeing this? I mean, it wasn't the most obvious trade route we've ever seen in the world, and to be honest, it's just an empty room, but technically this is a trade route. We've established a new trade route by cleansing the, I can now tell you, old tech tradeway of all of the monsters, which are going to respawn. We have now opened this as a trade route. It's beneficial to the old tech merchants. Old techs being what that ancient Greek-like character was. They want to deal business with us, and we've provided them the means to do so. They're very pleased. They propose an alliance of all things. As a symbol of the alliance, we have been assigned the medallion. We can show it to our duke, proof of allies. He'll let us back in the castle. This nightmare is over. Now, it's not entirely over, because people are still being driven mad. But, you know, it's a good start, and the duke's going to be happy. With allies on our side, we can start focusing on the rest of our lives and solving the predicament we're in. I'm not sure why we desperately needed allies. I think it was because we feared retribution from the goblins, or... I don't know, maybe all the beastmen that were around. Maybe we were scared of them. I don't know. The Duke, the Duke decided we needed allies, and we've got him some allies. Now what we got to do is get out of this damn place. That's absolutely clear of enemies now, and a safe trade route. I should re-bless. That's what I should do. I should also heal. Lots of tasks for Mina. I do like the idea of Elodie ending the adventure as weak as she started, but she will probably get levels thick and fast because we're defeating monsters that give a lot of experience, as you would imagine. Because we're quite far into the game here. And she's level 1. So if she gets the final hit, she's gonna level up. Yes. I never went into that room before. I have no intention of going in there this time. It's here, isn't it? Yes, good work, memory. Angles for the dragon. May have to blind it. I know this is the wrong way. I just want to kill these beetles so they don't chase me to the ends of the earth. I believe it's this way and then left. Well, that's a shame. This has turned from a shame to a disaster. Alright ladies, it's always you two I'm left with, I've noticed. Okay, step one. That was a great heal. 
a well rolled dice if ever I've seen one there. Okay, change the roster. It's better if Mina takes the lead, she has the better armor class. And now she has more hit points. That wasn't the right way. Let me observe the map. I'm so lost. That hasn't helped. Just gonna get these out of the way nice and quick. Okay, so that way's a dead end. Maybe it was through that door to the right. Let's try that one. Might have been this way. No, that's just a room of beetles. Oh, that fireball hurts. That's the problem with the Hellhounds, they can bite you, and the bite isn't too bad. Dragon, right? Yes. Blindest, blindest, please. Oh, I'm getting out of here, I'm not fighting this thing. Okay. We're out. We're shocked, we're angry, but we're out. Oh, and that's the old tech tradeway. Not an easy dungeon. It's debatable if this is the hardest dungeon or if the um, Azkan Temple is the hardest dungeon because it's full of traps. I mean, you saw what the traps did to me. I took a thief to disarm about half the traps and they still ripped me to shreds. But this dungeon has a lot of powerful enemies in it and a lot of level draining enemies in it, which is very annoying. Ooh, the game's not done yet, though. And usually I'd be a lot more powerful by this point because I wouldn't accept the level losses. So I'm weaker than I think I've ever been at this stage in the game, so that's going to be great. Next video we're going back to the castle, we're going to report to the Duke about our newfound allies, the Oltex. I'm sure he's going to be very pleased, he's going to let us back in, we're going to go hit up the Cleric, revive some teammates, and we're going to see out the rest of this game. Hopefully you'll join me for that, and I shall see you then.